Ideal weather, no complaints on that front here in North London at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Arsenal versus Everton. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. Connor Cody plays alongside James Tarkovsky in central defence. Alex Iwobi starts alongside Idrissa Gay in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Potentially one to savour. Arsenal get this game underway. Martin Odegaard. Jacker with it. Partey. It's with Gabriel. Thomas Partey. The ball back with Everton now. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. And denied by the post. Offside the verdict, however, so no drama. Martin Odegaard. Thomas Partey. Well, Martin Odegaard is supremely gifted, and I wonder, Stuart, what role you think he'll play in this game? Well, Derek, when he's on form, when he's focused... He's oh, a... wait a minute, Stuart. Opportunity! Oh, that's a fine save. Well, cleared away, but at the expense of a corner. Trying to pick out a teammate. Just far too close to the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka. A potential danger here. Thomas Partey. Trossard. A wonderful intervention. Well, not giving him any breathing room. Nathan Patterson. It will be now. And options in the centre. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Who can they pick out? Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Textbook defending inside the box. Party. Granite Jacker. He's found a pocket of space. And beyond the last defender, offside.
Cody. And now Dominic Carvert-Lewin. Idrissa Gay. Gray. A glorious chance. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Who can he pick out? It comes to nothing in the end. Martinelli. Martinelli. Can he finish? And no way through. Now the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop and then the reaction. Well, as you can see, Arsenal have had most of the ball. But in terms of creating chances, they've been well below their normal standards. Unless that changes quickly, it's going to be a really frustrating day for them. Oh, hang on, Stuart. Look at this. And it should have been the first goal of the game. Well, I can't believe that chance has been squandered. That should have been the opener. Promising sequence. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Oh, he's given it away. Well, if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Oh, he's given it away inexplicably. Good looking cross. Will it happen for him here? And a goal! to open the scoring no wonder they're celebrating well here's the replay and I have to say the keeper's got his angles all wrong there that's a poor piece of goalkeeping And there it is, the referee's whistle. The first half has come to an end here in North London. Well, he hasn't really been able to hit the heights in this game so far, has he? And the ball is moving again with Everton looking to build on a positive first half performance. Granit Xhaka. Farsi. It's with Erdogan. And the attack looks promising. He must finish. And it goes to square the game. What a contest this is turning out to be. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. So back underway. They've leveled it at 1-1 here. Idrissa Gay. 
Gray now. Calvert Lewin. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Marcinelli. Promising move. They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Well, 2-1 it is here. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Well, the second foul after the first one, and so no advantage there, free kick. Good refereeing, waiting for a natural pause before booking him. Now they're going to alter things, here's the substitution. The conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Trossard. Can he take advantage? And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. <laughs> Underway again with the score at 3-1. On the ball, Davis. Perfect challenge. And that pass could be troublesome. Opportunity. And a goal! What a magnificent display. It's such a one-sided contest here. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? So back with the action, and Arsenal... Printing away with ease. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Gabriel Martinelli. Well, rule to have taken up an illegal position only just. 
substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Had to come up with the ball, and the referee doesn't hesitate. That is a spot kick. Well, no card handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball, so penalty yes, yellow card no. And he slots it home with confidence. Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Gabriel Martinelli. Well, this game ebbing away and Arsenal have been brilliant, Stuart. Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously oh, wait, Stuart, they might score! And getting across to... To stop it. So two substitutes to come on in one go. And over comes the corner. Tremendous block. Gray, breaking at pace. And foul it is then. And getting in there to intercept. And just five minutes remaining. And it's Tom Davies. And intercepted it. Everton being afforded too much space here. Driven in. Oh dear, not really troubling the goalkeeper at all, Stuart. Well, from that range, he should be scoring, and he knows it. Vieira. Thomas Partey. Partey. Well, the supporters think it's on. Nketia. And saved by the keeper. <laughs> Who can he pick out? So there it is, the final whistle and a satisfying outcome for Arsenal and the many fans around the world. What did you think of their performance as a whole? Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, he kept asking questions, Martin Odegaard. What did you make of what you saw from him? Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today. It's with Erdogan. And the attack looks promising. He must finish! And it goes to square the game! What a contest this is to! 